Number 1. The Department of Education gives greater emphasis on the development of basic skills. What is the philosophical basis for this? A. Essentialism B. Existentialism C. Perennialism D. Pragmatism Answer, A. Number 2. Teacher M views his students as unique, free-choosing, and responsible individuals. All classroom activities revolve around the said premise. What theory underlies this? A. Essentialism B. Existentialism C. Progressivism D. Realism Answer, B. Number 3. Religious rituals in the classroom and in the school programs prove the deep natural religiosity of the Filipinos. Which philosophy has greatly contributed to the tradition? A. Buddhism B. Confucianism C. Hinduism D. Islam Answer, B. Number 4. In order to make Roman education truly utilitarian, how should the day-to-day -day lessons be taught? A. Taught in the student's native dialect. B. Taught interestingly through the play-way method. C. Related and linked to the events happening in everyday life. D. Practiced at home under the guidance of their respective parents. Answer, C. Number 5. Which influenced the military training requirements among students in the secondary and tertiary levels? A. Chinese. B. Greeks. C. Orientals. D. Romans. Answer, D. Number 6. Which philosophy has the educational objective to indoctrinate Filipinos to accept the teachings of the Catholic Church which is foster faith in God? A. Realism. B. Pragmatism. C. Idealism. D. Existentialism. Answer, C. Number 7. Virtue as one component in the teaching of Rizal as a course focuses on the teaching of good and beauty consistent with the good and beauty in God. What philosophy supports this? A. Existentialism B. Idealism C. Progressivism D. Social Reconstructionism Answer, B. Number 8. Giving education the highest budgetary allocation, the Philippine government recognizes the possible contribution of its future citizens to the national development goals of the Philippine society. Which stressed this goal of education for social transformation? A. Athenian education B. Followers of Christ C. Greek education D. Roman education Answer, D. Number 9 the progressivists emphasized the individuality of the child. What is the concern of the reconstructionists? A. Experiential learning. B. Socialization. C. Social problem. Answer, C. Number 10. One of the following quotations does not conform to the Christian doctrine of education for humanitarianism. Which one is it? A. Do unto others as you would like others do unto you. B. Love thy neighbor as thyself. C. Not on bread alone is man to live but on every utterance that comes from mouth of God. D. Whatever good things we do to our poor, helpless brothers, we do it for God. Answer, C. Number 11. Scouting and Citizens Army Training, CAT, give training in character building, citizenship training, etc. Which leads to the creation of a new social order and a new society eventually. What philosophy supports this? A. Existentialism B. Perennialism C. Progressivism D. Social Reconstructionism Answer, D. Number 12 Teacher V demonstrated the technique on how to group students according to their needs and interests and how to use self-paced instructional materials. Which philosophy is manifested in this activity? A. Essentialism B. Progressivism C. Realism 
D. Social Reconstructionism. Answer, B. Number 13. Teacher G, a Christian living teacher, put so much significance on values development and discipline. What could be her educational philosophy? A. Idealism. B. Pragmatism. C. Progressivism. D. Realism. Answer, A. Number 14. Which one does not illustrate the principle that rights and duties are correlative? A. The right of an unmarried pregnant teacher to abort her baby in relation to her duty to protect her name and her job as a teacher. B. The right of a state to compel students to military service is reciprocated by the duty of the state to protect them. C. The right to a living wage involves the duty of the school administrators to give the salary agreed upon and the duty of the teachers to give a fair amount of work. D. The right to life of children and to be given respect of such right. Answer, A. Number 15. Why should a teacher take the obligation upon himself to study and understand the custom and traditions of the community where he works? A. To change the culture of the community. B. To have a sympathetic attitude for the people of the community. C. To identify the weaknesses of the culture of the community. D. To please the people of the community. Answer, B. Number 16. A teacher who is a recognized expert in carpentry works, taught his students how to prepare and construct good and aesthetic furniture from local resources. What cultural transmission process is this? A. Acculturation. B. Inculturation. C. Indoctrination. D. Dot observation. Answer, B. Number 17. Every first day of the school year, Miss Reyes prepared activities which will make her grade two children, sing, plan, learn and introduce themselves to the class. What process did the teacher emphasize? A. Acculturation. B. Inculturation. C. Indoctrination. D. Socialization. Answer, D. Number 18. Which program in the educational system seems to be aligned to the Christian humanitarian principle respect for the human personality? A. The alternative learning system delivery. B. The functional literacy program for the out-of-school youth and adults. C. The promotion of the basic human rights of the Filipino. D. The study of the Philippine Constitution. Answer, C. Number 19. With a death threat over his head, teacher Liza is directed to pass an undeserving student, if she is a hedonist, which of the following will she do? A. Don't pass him, live her principle of justice. She will get reward, if not in this life, in the next. B. Don't pass him. She surely will not like someone to give you a death threat in order to pass. C. Pass the student. That will be of use to her, the student and his parents. D. Pass the student. Why suffer the threat? Answer, D. Number 20. Which philosophy approves a teacher who lectures most of the time and requires his students to memorize the rules of grammar? A. Existentialism. B. Idealism. C. Pragmatism. D. Realism. Answer, B. Number 21. In a student conducted, the pupils were asked which nationality they would prefer if given a choice. Majority of the pupils wanted to be Americans. In this case, in which obligation relative to the state our schools seem to be failing? A. Instill allegiance to the constitutional authorities. B. Promote national pride. C. Promote obedience to the laws of the state. D. Respect for all duly constituted authorities. Answer, B. Number 22. Which subject in the elementary and likewise in the secondary schools are similar to the goal of Rome to train the students for citizenship? A. Communication arts. B. May pay slash pames. C. Science. D. The slash TLE. 
Answer, D. Number 23. Which of the following school's practices is not based on social reconstructionism? A. Establishment of SDF. B. Exemption of Scouts from CAT. C. Promoting culture and arts in schools. D. Promoting Project WOW. Answer, C. 24. Which of the following is the focus of the Japanese education in the Philippines? A. Democratic ideals and nationalism. B. Love and service to one's country. C. Religion and love for Asian brothers. D. Vocational and health education. Answer, D. Number 25. According to Reconstructionism, the goal of education is to bring about a new social order. Which practice best manifests this view? A. The class conducts scientific experiments to discover or verify concepts. B. The class discusses role models and their impact on society. C. The class allowed to engage in divergent thinking. D. The class undertakes well-planned projects in the community.